Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, so, wait for the slide to come up. Is it right over here? There we go. Um, so, I'm going to talk to you about a three year BBSRC funded project that I'm running starting in May. Um, the loose connection with open data is this idea of open physiology. Um, so, you have experimental groups studying different biological systems. How do you encourage them? to make their data open in a way that's actually usable for others, not just deposited somewhere because the funders require it, but you can't really make head or tail of what's going on with it. And so the motivation that we're coming to is, well, what if releasing their data actually enables them to get more value from it themselves and see what other things it could be useful for? Um, so this project started off um, more from the modeling side of things, um, working with cardiac modelers, for computer-readable descriptions of their models, separated from what you're actually going to do to the model. So the idea of this protocol representing the experiment analogously to the kind of experiment you do in a real cell with a lab, poking it, recording the data, doing some post-processing, seeing what comes out. So we have the system that lets us see how different models respond in different experimental scenarios. The next stage of the project is to now connect those to the experimental data that you record from the corresponding protocol in a wet lab and see not just how models compare to each other and what they can do in different scenarios, but how they compare to real experimental data, all on a website, a nice front end, all available, um, at least when you decide to make that public and keep it private initially, and doing not just comparing to data, but actually fitting model parameters against the data so you can see how well different models will capture your data set and explain what's going on there. So from an experimentalist point of view, you can start to probe what could be causing the behavior that you're seeing from experiments and hopefully then make that more useful to the community as a resource. 